So what is one of the biggest issues with streaming in 2022? It's actually pretty simple. You have to have five different subscription services just to get every single show, movie, piece of content that you want. But what if I told you there's a much simpler way to get the content you want? Simply by buying cheap DVDs or using the DVDs in your household to actually get some use out of them again. Because I know nobody's still using a DVD player around the house and popping them in for movie night every single Friday. But instead, you can take these DVDs that you have around the house and actually turn them into digital copies in just a few minutes. It's literally as simple as this video. It takes two to three clicks and you're ready to go um, bringing these on the road for you uh, and being able to play them in places you weren't able to use them before. So guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. I'd really appreciate it a ton. Give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you comment down below which DVDs you have in your house. I wanna hear what the weirdest one is somebody has. I know somebody has some old classics. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. So really in what situation would you need to rip your DVD so you can have a digital copy? Well, there's, there's actually quite a few reasons. So if you want a copy for your Android phone or for your iPhone, it makes it really easy to transfer it into an MP4 file that you can put on either device in just a few minutes. And we're gonna be walking through the software and really talking about what it's capable of, talking about how cheap it really is um, and what the overall uses are for it. And one of the big uses for it is people use it for DVDs that are no longer working. So if they've got extremely scratched and your DVD player can't even read it, it's easy to fix that and have a downloaded digital copy ready to go. As well, people use this for backups. If your DVDs are getting old or you don't want the physical copies anymore, this makes it extremely easy to do. And we're gonna be walking through the whole process and then we'll talk about how cheap it is, how you can get a great discount um, for being one of my followers, one of my subscribers, um, and really how the streaming community can really use um, a system like this in order to get the most out of these old DVDs that nobody's using anymore anyways. Um, so this is kind of the, the best way to transfer that over. So let's look into the process of how easy it is to actually get this and turning it into a digital copy in just around five minutes. So luckily this software is compatible with Windows 10 and 11. It pretty much creates a one for one digital copy without any quality loss whatsoever. Whether that's MP4, iOS, it, it really doesn't matter. It's that easy. So let me walk you through the process here of how to get set up. The first thing you're gonna do is download the free trial, guys. Give it a try. If you need the Mac version, it's right here available as well. Um, so obviously both options are there for my subscribers. Once it's done installing, you're gonna have a system very, very close to this. So this is how you load everything up here. And what you're gonna wanna do is connect your DVD via a disk drive. So I, of course, have a little external disk drive right here. Uh, most laptops have a disk drive. A lot of PCs still have disk drives. So if you have one, you're pretty much already set up for that. And this is really how simple it is. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select your destination folder. Um, so I'm just gonna go browse and I'm just gonna turn it to my download folder. Makes it easy, that way I know exactly where it's going. Of course, you can also create your own folder. It's entirely up to you. Now you're gonna select disk because we have a disk in there that we wanna go and transfer into an MP4 file. Uh, you're gonna select the disk that's in there. Right now we're doing Harry Potter, The Chambers of Secret. It's on auto detect. We're gonna press okay. And now you can hear my DVD player kind of booting up there, that external hard drive. And now here is where you can select uh, what quality you want, what kind of file you want. So for example, if we go to Apple devices, you can see iPhone video, iPad, um, Apple TV, like literally everything, Android pad. Uh, if we go to Android mobile, they have a bunch of different cell phones, um, right? Facebook video, PC, Mac. So they have all these different compatibility types for you to choose from. I'm just gonna select MP4. And here you can select the, the varying degree of low, uh, LQ or HQ. So that'd be up to you what you wanna do with that. But here it tells you which codex it's using, which is H22464 um, plus. So really, really simple guys. And then from here, we're just gonna go ahead and press okay. And you can see all the different files that are inside the DVD. And the one that's selected is the 0 .0000, uh, 0 0.0000 to two hours and 40 minutes. You know, that's the right one. Um, you can also go edit here, but we're not gonna worry about that. We could also merge the titles if we wanted. Um, 
You can see here we can also select use high quality engine, which I think we'll do. Our destination folder is set and literally all we do now is click run. So now we're going to wait through this process. We'll fast forward a little bit through it and we'll take a look at um, just how long this really takes to burn this Harry Potter disc into a digital MP4 file. All right, we are nearing the last two percentages of our uh, DVD rip. So of our Harry Potter, we're going to test it out. I'm going to show you it working and we're going to talk about how cheap this software actually is. So you can pretty much have it for the rest of your life. So here it is. You can see all jobs are complete. We're going to go ahead and press OK and it's going to load it up. And here it is right here, an MP4 copy. Let's click on it. It should open with my default Windows player and let's see how it did. And OK. We got it. We're going to fast forward a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to have to bl uh, blur the screen a little bit here, guys, but you should be able to tell through the blurred screen. And the quality is really, it's really, really good. It's awesome. I can easily skip forward to any part. There's no lag. There's no nothing. It literally just turned it into an MP4 copy. Uh, and I can go all the way, spoil the ending of the movie for myself. And wow, I cannot believe how well that worked. So let's go ahead and talk about um, how much this software actually costs and you know whether it'd be actually worth getting or not. And now for the time you have all been waiting for, and that is the price. Could the price of this service that allows you to rip your DVDs and have digital copies of them be worth it? Because you clearly don't wanna pay monthly or yearly for this, right? You wanna be able to do this for the rest of your life if that option is available, right? You wanna be able to go to a garage sale and pick up a DVD for cheap and now have an MP4 copy of it. So let's go ahead and check that information out really quickly. So here is the promotional discount for my subscribers. There's 16 days left. They're giving away a ton of free stuff as well, guys. So you can check that out down below in the description. But here, if you purchase one of their packages, you get a chance to win their March Madness prizes, which include tons of great stuff. You can see the more of the prizes down here, right? We have manager license. We have Gatorade bottles, Wilson basketballs, very, and then Bose sports earbuds. So you have a chance to win just for inputting your email as well. Um, and then obviously entering to win. Um, so yeah, you can read over the instructions a little bit, but right here you can get the special discount of WinX DVD Ripper Platinum, $50 for a lifetime or 30 for a year. Now I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but if you're gonna have to choose one before the other, obviously that year is looking pretty, that lifetime is looking pretty good for 50 bucks. Uh, the fact you'll never have to purchase this again. Now, if you want, you can also go to their site where they offer uh, light licenses, which are three month licenses. Say you only want to use this for three months, you want to bang through everything, then you can get that for $30. Or once again, their premium license for a year, for $40, and then their lifetime stays on sale um, quite often at around $56, $55, as you can see here. But those are all the options for it, guys. Um, whether you need the service or not, that's up to you and what you have in your collection. But what the service can do for you, what this software can do for you is really undeniable. It's awesome. It's a great way to preserve your favorite DVDs for years to come um, so you and your family can continue to enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.